Hey guys, Joe Sticks, and this is Kentucky Swagger. Today we're going to uh, continue on with our series for the homemade wine made from juice concentrate. It's been exactly seven days. There's maybe one bubble every five minutes on this thing. And we're going to be uh, racking it off into my big mouth bubbler that I got from northernbrewer.com. This thing is really, really great. It's quite light, guys. It's already been sanitized. Go ahead and dump the rest of that out. And let's go ahead and get to it. All right, guys, like always, make sure everything is sanitized. It has to be sanitized really, really well, guys, just to help keep any kind of... Uh, nasties getting into our wine okay right now i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna uh rack this here off into the big mouth bubbler which is sitting right here like i said everything here has been sanitized and i'll be right back with you hey guys this wine is looking really really nice i can't believe how how clear it is on top i was expecting to see something on top of you know the uh the foam and stuff but there's absolutely no foam or anything like that on there. So I'm going to go ahead and get some wine, put it in here, and see what the uh, alcohol content is in this thing. Remember the last time we did this, it was sitting around 1.090. Guys, this wine is sitting at 0 0.990. Pretty sure that's what that is, 0.990. I could get it to stay still. Let's go with 0.998 because it seems to be bouncing up and down. I'm going to go with 0.998. That's giving us an alcohol rating. Just a moment, we will uh, get this figured up. 1.090 minus 0.998. This is 92 times that by 131, and you've got 12. 0.052% alcohol, guys, is exactly a 12% alcohol, which I'm ec ecstatic about that because I kind of that's exactly what I want it to be. So we'll go ahead and pull this here out, put that in there, and I'll save this here to sip on. Let me go ahead and try this. Mmm, that's actually quite nice. I'll, that's actually better than the prison hooch that I made. <laughs> with no funky smells in it either. Mmm. That's going to make a really good wine. It's kind of dry right now, which is the way I like it. However, my wife likes a little bit sweeter wine, so I'll probably add another concentrate to this when they're on bottling day. That way, it'll up the sweetness to it. Anyways, let's get this thing racked off. Okay, everything's getting uh, going into the big mouth butler just perfectly fine. This wine is actually quite clear for you know just being a week old. Tastes good. I can't wait until it's done, guys. I'm kind of excited now. Um, no funky smells out of this whatsoever, like it was with my prison hooch. This thing actually smells really decent. Um, the flavors are really on point. I can't believe I actually got a decent wine out of some uh, grape juice concentrate. I'm kind of ecstatic about that. Okay guys, so the wine has been racked off into this uh, six, six gallon uh, big mouth bubbler. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw the lid on it. And get the plug, this here plug here together. Throw it right on top of there just like that guys. Get your uh, airlock like normal. Throw it on top of there. Anyways, guys, that's it. I'm going to take this. I'm going to stick it back into a room. It's going to be around 75 degrees. I'm going to let this sit for another two weeks. The first week, you get it off of the old yeast. 
and then you let it set for another two weeks and you rack it off one more time. Hopefully in that two weeks we can go ahead and add our Campton tablets and if I have any sorbet at the time I'll do that as well. Throw that in there that way it can uh, get rid of any uh, yeast that might be uh, lingering around or at least cocoon it and cause it to hibernate. And then I'll try back sweeten it right before I bottle it and I'll bring you guys along with that as well. It won't be this next Wednesday but the Wednesday after that you will see some more information on this wine that I'm making. Anyways, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all have a good one, and keep brewing.